Google just unveiled the all new Pixel Fold. It's got a familiar Pixel design, flagship processor, and all of Google's amazing AI features. But how does it compare to the pioneer of folding phones, the Z Fold? Well, this is the Google Pixel Fold versus the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. We're gonna compare the Pixel Fold and the Z Fold 4 in five different categories, select the winner for each round, and in the end, crown the winner of the foldables. Let's start with round one price. This is honestly going to be an easy round. Both phones start at $1,800. So you're paying a premium for both of these phones. And they both start with 256 gigabytes of non-expandable internal storage. Now just to put that into perspective, you can buy three of the recently announced Pixel 7a's for less than the price of one Pixel Fold. Or three of the all new Galaxy A54's for less than one Galaxy Z Fold 4. So these are really expensive smartphones, but they're equally as expensive. And because of that, I'm not giving either one of these a point for this round. They don't deserve it. Round two is design. Both of these smartphones take design cues from their regular candy bar cousins. The Pixel Fold definitely has the Pixel design to it. You have a rear camera visor, just like the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. Now it doesn't extend the whole back of the phone like the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro do, but there's no doubt this is a Pixel smartphone. The Z Fold 4 also has a very similar design to the Galaxy S series of phones. It also has a similar camera bump design. Where things are different, is the aspect ratio. The Pixel Fold's outer display is slightly wider and shorter than the Z Fold 4, which makes it more like using a regular smartphone in my opinion. The Pixel Fold has a 5.8 inch outer display compared to the Z Fold 4's 6.2 inch outer display. Now I've never been a big fan of the Z Fold's thin outer display because it just isn't as useful and it's harder to get used to. The inner display is also slightly different when it comes to aspect ratio, but both of these displays are a large 7.6 inch display. But I'm definitely not a fan of the bezels on the Pixel Fold. It just makes the phone look dated and I much prefer what Samsung did with the inner display's bezel. When it comes to the thickness of the phone when it's closed, the Pixel Fold is thinner when it's open or closed and the hinge allows it to completely fold over leaving no gap. The Z Fold 4 still has a gap when closed and the phone is just overall thicker which just makes it harder to carry around with you in your pocket. I like what Samsung did with the inner display but overall I just prefer the Pixel Fold when it comes to design. There's no gap, it's thinner and I just prefer the aspect ratio of the outer display over the Z Fold 4's. I even prefer the Pixel-esque design it has while the Z Fold 4 just looks very neutral and not very distinguishing. So if I had to choose one for design it would be the Pixel Fold. Round three is performance. The Pixel Fold is getting Google's latest chipset, the Tensor G2. It also has 12 gigabytes of RAM, while the Z Fold 4 has the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, also with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And when you compare these two chipsets, there's no doubt the Snapdragon is more powerful. Google has made some nice improvements with the Tensor chip compared to the first generation, but it's still not at the same level as Qualcomm Snapdragon. When it comes to battery life, the Z Fold 4 has a 4,000 400 milliamp hour battery and the pixel fold has a 4821 milliamp hour battery so slightly larger battery with the pixel fold but once again power efficiency is not one of tensor's strong suits it's better than before but the snapdragon still does a better job so i expect these phones to be pretty close to even when it comes to battery even though the pixel fold has a larger battery capacity when it comes to wire charging the pixel fold has a slightly faster wire charging at 30 watts while the z fold 4 maxes out at 25 watts so really nothing too impressive when when it comes to battery for both of these phones. If I was going to choose one of these phones though for performance, it would have to be the Z Fold 4. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor is a beast and it's been one of the best mobile processors out there. Qualcomm has been doing it for longer than Google and performance wise it shows. The Tensor G2 chip has been good but it's still not quite at the level of its competition. And because of that, round 3 goes to the Z Fold 4. 
Round four is cameras. Now this round is of course subjective and may change as the Pixel Fold's camera tests start to come in. But for this round, I'm gonna base it on camera hardware and what I expect from each manufacturer. The Pixel Fold will have three rear camera sensors, a 48 megapixel wide angle camera sensor, a 10.8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10.8 telephoto camera sensor. It also has a 9.5 megapixel front camera and an eight megapixel inner camera. The Z Fold 4 also has a rear triple camera system. It has a 50 megapixel wide angle camera sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto. It also has a 10 megapixel front facing camera and a four megapixel under display camera sensor on its interior display. So camera hardware, these are very similar. They both don't offer the same camera hardware that their flagship smartphone offers, but they still have decent hardware. Now, if I had to choose one of these phones that I thought would be better at taking photos and video, I would have to go with the Pixel Fold, simply because Google has a track record of getting more out of lackluster camera hardware. Their computational photography is really impressive and I just think they do a better job than Samsung when it comes to camera software. Not to mention all the AI features Google offers with their smartphones as well. You have things like photo on blur and magic eraser. Even the interior displays camera should be better on the Pixel because it's not underneath the display, but instead in that huge bezel the Pixel Fold has, which means it should be better quality. Overall, these won't be the best smartphones for video and photos, but between the two, I would choose a Pixel Fold and that's why it wins round four. Round five is features. Both of these foldables have similar features. They both have IPX8 water resistance, they both have wireless charging, but the Z Fold 4 has wireless power share and the Pixel Fold doesn't. Both phones have an always on display. They both have 120 hertz inner displays, but the Pixel Fold's inner display has a peak brightness of 1450 nits, while the Z Fold 4 is 1000 nits. So you're gonna have a brighter display with the Pixel Fold. When it comes to software features, both have similar multitasking features and the ability to get more things done at once. But Samsung has been in the foldable game longer and it just seems like they have more features that take advantage of that larger folding display. Both phones have a fingerprint sensor and face unlock. They both have stereo speakers and are 5G capable. The Z Fold 4 though, has support for the S Pen. There's no mention of a Pixel Pen or a Pixel Pencil or something like that to go along with the Pixel Fold. And I think the S Pen makes a lot of sense with a folding display because it takes advantage of the screen real estate. I wish the S Pen was somehow stored in the Z Fold 4 like the S23 Ultra has it, but having the ability to use it is still nice. So when it comes to features, I think the Z Fold 4 has more. Samsung has been doing it longer and has been able to add more and more features with each update. So for this round, I'm giving it to the Z Fold 4. So after five rounds, we have a tie. The Z Fold 4 with two points and the Pixel Fold with two points. That's how close this matchup is in my opinion. But because I hate ties, I'm gonna choose a winner. And the winner for me between this matchup is the Z Fold 4. Now the only reason I'm choosing the Z Fold 4 over the Pixel Fold is because I know what to expect with Samsung. This is Google's first foldable and because folding phones are kind of unpredictable. I'm not sure how it's going to hold up durability wise. Samsung has over four years of learning and improving and their first folding phone, the Z Fold 1, was kind of a disaster. So I don't expect the Pixel Fold to be quite as bad as the Z Fold 1, but it might have some room for improvement. But that doesn't mean the Pixel is not the right choice. If you prefer the design and camera system, then I think the Pixel Fold is going to be a solid choice for you. But it's really close for me. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how the Pixel Fold actually holds up when it's officially released. And with that said, we're just a few months away from Samsung releasing the Z Fold 5, which hopefully brings some nice improvements as well. But what do you guys think? Which folding smartphone would you go with? Let me know with a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos, and I'll see you on the next one.